provisional estimates suggest that the number of people killed in collisions involving one or more drink drivers on British roads is on the rise. The latest Department for Transport stats, released today, said that around 240 people had been killed in accidents with motorists over the legal alcohol limit in 2016, up from 200 the year previous. That's a 20% increase in casualties and the most significant year-on-year -year rise for drink-drive-related deaths for a decade and a half. Even with the rise, however, drink-driving-related deaths remain at less than half the level seen a decade ago. The DFT's announcement said the provisional rise in drink-drive-related deaths was statistically significant, though said the overall number was in line with figures reported between 2010 and 2014. A greater estimated 9,050 people were killed or injured during 2016 in shunts involving drivers over the limit, up from 8,470 the year previous, a rise of 7 percent. That is almost 40 percent lower than the number seen a decade earlier. However, with 1,792 people losing their lives on roads in Britain last year, about 1 in 7, 13 percent, of all road casualties involve drink drivers each year. While the DFT reiterated that the 240 figure was only an estimation, it said it was 95 percent certain that the true number sat somewhere between 200 and 280 casualties. In 2015, the government department confirmed that 200 people had been killed in drink-driving-related road traffic accidents. The motoring organization has called on the government to make it crystal clear to drink drive offenders that enough is enough and demanded more communication on the strategies in place to tackle the crime. It added that the depleting number of dedicated road policing officers also need to be given the resources to robustly enforce the law and that the government needs to rethink the current drink drive restrictions. In a recent study, it found that 59 percent of Britons surveyed supported a lower limit for drink driving. That comes despite the fact that Britain is one of the European countries with the safest roads and best record of bringing down drink driving deaths. Williams added, we also repeat our plea to the government to review the drink drive limit in England and Wales, the limit in these parts of the UK is among the most forgiving of anywhere in Europe, which surely sends the wrong message to anyone who thinks about getting behind the wheel after having too much to drink. Critics of lowering the drink drive limit point out, however, that those who persistently drive over the limit are likely to do so, whatever it is said at.
FBAA also responded to the report, saying that the figures would represent the largest year-on-year -year rise in drink drive casualties for a decade and a half. That came in in 2000, when figures jumped 15% to 530 casualties from 460 the year before. Jack Cousins, head of Rhodes Policy for the AA said, Part of the problem for this increase is the number of hardcore drink drivers, those who are excessively over the limit.